to all of our loyal subscribers, we would like to let you know that Hacker Daily is now Hacker Weekly. As always, bringing you the latest in cybersecurity news. This week's top InfoSec stories include new WPA3 protocols, Indian citizens information exposed, VTech settles a privacy lawsuit, and the FBI wants access to encrypted devices. This is Hacker Weekly for Friday, January 12th, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. The Wi-Fi Alliance, which includes tech giants such as Apple, Cisco, Intel, Microsoft, and Qualcomm, made an announcement at CES this week that it will be launching the new WPA3 protocol. WPA3 will offer new features to simplify and enhance security for users and service providers on personal and enterprise networks. One of the features includes individualized data encryption, which will be possible by creating a secure encrypted channel for each user on the network. It also claimed that testing improvements will reduce the likelihood of vulnerabilities resulting from network misconfiguration and safeguard managed networks with centralized authentication. In other news, over 1 billion Indian citizens have had their personal information exposed. The issue was uncovered by an Indian newspaper reporter as part of an investigation into the security of the Unique Identification Authority of India, which serves as the issuer for Adhar cards. The cards are used for authentication with state-owned entities and departments. During the investigation, the Tribune of India was able to obtain administrator-level credentials with full access to the database for just $8. The investigation is still underway at this time. And the toy maker VTech has agreed to pay a civil penalty of $650,000 in order to settle a privacy lawsuit after being accused of collecting the information of, of thousands of children without providing a direct notice to parents. VTech collected the personal info on its Learning Lodge Navigator online platform. The FTC concluded in addition to monetary settlement, VTech is permanently prohibited from violating COPA in the future and from misrepresenting its security and privacy practices as part of the proposed settlement. It also is required to implement a comprehensive data security program, which will be subject to independent audits for the next 20 years. And lastly, the FBI says it doesn't necessarily want back doors, however, it does want access to encrypted devices. This comes after the director, Christopher Wray, argued that this was becoming an urgent public safety issue, which would only get worse over time unless U.S. technology companies engineer a responsible solution. Ray also claimed that the feds were unable to access over 7,000 encrypted devices last year. He stated, we're not looking for a back door which I understand to mean some type of secret, insecure means of access. What we're asking for is the ability to access the device once we've obtained a warrant from an independent judge who has said we have probable cause. However, experts have argued that the only way to give the FBI what it's asking for is indeed engineering a de facto backdoor. Well, that's all the time that I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Weekly. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.